there's so many companies out there for ages, for generations it seems, that the only way to get a good job is by going to college. But now so many people had gone to college that the prestige no longer is there. I Hey, good morning, Brian. Thanks for tuning in live. And thank you all for tuning in live every single time we go live. Let's take a look at our second story of the day. Higher education is facing a giant reckoning as blue collar jobs prevail. Oh, I got to tell you, when I saw this story, I got to thinking about this, right? There's so many companies out there that, you know, for ages, for generations, it seems that the only way to get a good job is by going to college. But now so many people had gone to college. Universities have been flooded with people that the prestige no longer is there. The prestige of having the, um, the university tied to your education, tied to your job is no longer there. And there's so many jobs that exist now that didn't exist before the the age of the internet, right? For example, a YouTuber, right? There's plenty of YouTubers who make tens of millions of dollars a year just by making YouTube videos. You don't have to go to college to do that. And let's say um, an online Etsy store, right? Let's say you are the world's best crocheter of uh, blankets, right? That's what my mom makes. My mom loves to make crochet blankets and I love them, right? But let's say that my mom wanted to start a crochet business and she charges, you know, $500 for her handmade one of a kind crochet blankets. She doesn't have to go to college to do that. She can set up an Etsy store. She can start a Shopify store. She can get started right away. She didn't have to go back to school to figure that out. And I think that that's a lot of what's going on out there is that the Internet has opened up so many opportunities that people didn't have before. But not only that, blue collar jobs, the jobs who are actually making things, skilled labor jobs, they really aren't going anywhere, right? Like, for example, my Internet has been having I've had so much issues with my Internet. Let me tell you. So back a few months ago, uh, AT&T came through and installed fiber through my neighborhood. And when AT&T installed fiber in my neighborhood, they cut the line for optimum uh, or Sutherland cable, right? And I was like, all right, no big deal. I'll just pick a different, you know, I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll get them. I'll get them to fix it. So they uh, they came through. They they ran a, a, a cord and just laid it out my yard. And then a couple of days later, a skilled laborer came through and dug a trench all the way from the box to my house underneath my driveway. And all was good. And at t came through and cut the line again. I'm not joking. This actually happened. And so I'm getting super frustrated because they were not clear, clearly skilled workers. That's for sure. So um, I called Optimum up and they put another line, you know, across my yard. And, and this was in Thanksgiving. And then uh, months go by and, and I call them up and I'm like, hey, uh, I, I need to get this buried. Right. This is January. And that was uh, laying across my yard since November. So they call or, or, or they, they send another skilled laborer out. This skilled laborer uh, dug a trench, put the line under my driveway, ran it up to my house, but it didn't work. Dude up and left and I had no internet that day. Those who I trade with will know. Um, dude up and left without even checking to see if it works. So I call up Optimum and I'm like, please send somebody out to fix this. So they sent another skilled laborer out who diagnosed the situation, found that the, the cable the one that was installed wasn't working correctly. So now I have another line laying out in my yard, which another skilled laborer will come and dig a trench and put it under my driveway and run it up to my house for the fourth time. And I can't do any of that, right? I don't know how to do that. Not only do I not know how to do that, I can't get ChatGPT to do that. While I love using ChatGPT, while I love the automation, while I love all kinds of AI out there, these are things I can't do. So we do need skilled laborers to do that, right? Or imagine I had plumbing issues or electrical issues, right? These are things that I can't do. I can change a light bulb. In fact, I changed one this morning. <laughs> Funny story. Uh, we had a light bulb going out in the kitchen. I run over, got a new bulb, and and my eight-year-old son, Elliot, he was helping me. You know, I handed him the bulb, and he handed me a new one, and we were talking about how it was warm and stuff coming out of the ceiling. 
And uh, he's like, wow, dad, you switched that foot so fast. And I'm like, I know I can do a couple things around the house. I'm pretty handy like that. <laughs> but where I'm going with that is that we do absolutely still need all kinds of skilled workers. And I think that that is going to get more and more prevalent as we've seen, there might be more and more jobs that are lost because of AI. Brian says, you don't need a college degree, but you do need to have a skill. Brian, that's actually what I'm telling my kids, right? So I trade stocks and I know how to make money come out of the stock market and into my bank account. And I've taught them that. And I said, you don't have to go to college, but you do have to have a skill. You do have to do something, but you don't have to sit in school and learn all this other stuff that you're never going to use. You don't have to sit in class and make questionable decisions when you're there. I'll put it that way, because we all make questionable decisions in college. But you do have to do something. Hey, good to see you. Thank you for watching live. Brian says they want you to trust them and use their service. I don't know. I'm not trusting the Optimum very much lately. <laughs> But I, I do think that the, the story here is, is true, right? The cost of attending a college or university has risen drastically, coupled with record-setting inflation and costly student loans. More parents and students are exploring alternatives to a four-year college. 50% of parents say they would not send their, their child to a four-year university. Two-thirds of high school students believe they'll be fine without a college degree. Now, it really depends on what you want to do with your life, right? A lot of people come out of high school with, you know, completely aimless. They don't know what they're going to do. They don't know where they're going to go. And then they end up working maybe uh, uh, waiting tables, maybe working at Starbucks, maybe um, some sort of other wage-based job. I don't want that for you. I don't want that for the people who are listening, right? I want you to find a skill, like Brian said, a skill that can be extremely marketable. Whether that's trading stocks, whether that's making... Um, uh, crochet blankets, whatever the case is, finding a skill that will set you apart and can create an economy around what you do, that would be incredible. So let's take a look at a cable provider, Comcast. Now I have a, uh, I, I, I have a, a I have a great story about trading Comcast. Comcast was one of the best trades I ever put on early in my career, which kind of set me on their, uh, on my trading path, right? I uh, I remember I put um, put the trade on in Comcast. I went and took a shower. I came back out of the shower and I had made 150 bucks in like 10 minutes. And I'm like, oh, OK, this is what I'm talking about here. This is what I always wanted to do. Easy money. We all know trading stocks is not easy money, but there are days where something just clicks for you. And Comcast was one of those for me. We got a buy signal back on January 29th, so about a week ago or so. And we also have these incredible signal returns for Comcast at 53.55% returns. Now, if you want to get your hands on these signals, and so you can see whenever you get those, and maybe when you're taking a shower, it'll work out well for you, head over to outlierdeal.com. That's O-V-T-L-Y-R deal.com. You can get lifetime access to Outlier for one incredibly low price. So let's see what the internet has to say about uh, losing jobs out there, right? For higher education, it's facing a giant reckoning as blue collar jobs prevail. A skilled labor advocate says there's a giant reckoning as families reevaluate their choices when it comes to childcare and degrees. Sure, but a white collar job has heat in the winter, air conditioning in the summer, and you don't break your back. I agree with that. I do absolutely agree with that. But granted, there's things that I can't do as a white collar worker. That 250,000 liberal arts degree probably isn't looking like a great investment anymore. I can't imagine that it was. We're not we're not going to win the next war if our blue collar workforce keeps shrinking. That's a good point, right? Um, even if we uh, continue to shrink the blue collar workforce, we need those skilled laborers, not just in the home, but also in the military and everywhere else. And be sure to check out one of these two videos. YouTube thinks you're going to love them and continue to watch more. Thank you so much for uh, tuning into today's Outlier Live. We'll see you on the next episode.